All right, so better late than never. We're finally making it to Bauman's Pumpkin Patch, which we usually go to early on in the season. But because of uh, terrible rain and my travel and everything else, we haven't made it. So it's October 30th and we're finally here. So we're gonna show you around. You can see behind me, they make fresh kettle corn, all sorts of things. Uh, this is a pretty big pumpkin patch. It's out by Wilsonville. Got lots of stuff to do. Obviously today it's raining, hitting the great weather, greatest weather, but if we're gonna get it done in Oregon, you just gotta go. So anyways, that's what we got. We'll show you around as we get moving here. All right, so we've done a school field trip here, and one thing is is they do make fresh apple cider here. So everything's pretty th fresh. You can get a bunch of different food. You can see they're making caramel corn and kettle corn. Um, and we'll check out a few other things. Kid maize is one of the favorite things, so. Um, there's a hayride, which I can't see us riding on today. Uh, we've already got pumpkins, but you can go out there. We're pretty robust pumpkin patch. And then as you come in here, a little petting area. So we got some piggies. Got all sorts of things. Those are cute pigs, actually. Put these little guys here, begging for food. There, he's my favorite. That's so Addison's favorite. Yeah, right. I fed him, and he was like, yeah. "This is the guy making all sorts of weird noises." <laughs> Another little big one. This is bacon and sausage. My hand is all slobbery because I. He looked at like Richard. I'm gonna get food and what, like once all the food's gone, they still look my hand. That's your man. Wash them both. The little one was so cute. He like did whatever I told him. A little place they could sit down and wash off. Get all the dirt off of them. That's like ice cold. So when we've done a field trip in the past with the kids from school, this is one of the favorite things. In fact, if we had a farm or a barn, this would be an easy thing to build. But anyways, all the way to the top. And then they come shooting out down here somewhere. Looks like it would hurt. So another favorite, they have giant swings over here in the barn. So you climb up on top of the hay bales. Come back to me swings. Thank you. Ready? Ready. Caitlin Gracie. Oh man, that was almost bad. All right, so there is a kids hay maze. So you can see over the top of it, there is one that is all black. You can't see anything, which is a little, <laughs> they're not real thrilled about going in there, but this one's pretty cool. You can um, run all the way back there, you find your way back to the slide and out you come.
coming. I'm up and I'm down. Woo! Oh yeah, let's come into the fort. You got the fort. Cheese! Apple face. Alright, so this thing is a giant jumping pillow. It's pretty cool. Never seen this anywhere else. I think the value of this is, is it's open on the weekends. It's not open in the week, even though there's a lot less people here. So, one of the reasons, but whenever it's busy here, this thing is chaos. And kids are getting thrown all over the place. So, um, but if it's not, it's cool. Be fun to have at your house. Alright, then we have the jump pad. It's basically just a bunch of, uh, the good thing about this place is, is that even when it's wet, everything's pretty much under some sort of shelter. So we have a maze, we have people want to be on video. Hi. We have a long blow up thing. There's a big jump thing over there, so we'll go check that out. The kids are going to go through this one first. This is one of those races, so of course Caitlin's come through here, and she's the first one through there. And then the other thing we have in here is this gigantic, basically jumping thing, which is fun for kids. I mean, they jump all day until they're tired my back, I feel like it's broken. Anyways, like I said, good thing about all this is, is that it's all under, it's all under cover. So even in crappy Oregon weather, this still works. So, Bauman's is a good place to go. Alright, so one of the few things that's actually outside, it's got to deal with the rain, but it's done one of their favorites, is big zip lines. So, we have this thing, which looks dangerous, is outside. Probably the last thing we're going to do because they'll be soaked after this. This looks crazy. See if Caitlin's brave enough to go down this or not. She's going down that one too. Doesn't look like fun. We'll see. Oh, crap. I feel so scared for you. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so one of the last things to do out here, drive this around. Kyle's really slow. <laughs> He's gonna get run over. Dude, pedal! <laughs> what are you doing? Pedal! I'm Hard! I'm fast. This is I'm Grandma fast driving. Anyways, some of these kids are gonna run him over. But it's one of the last things to do. All right, so just so we cover everything else, there's laser tag, there's a bug train down here, which is basically just a ride. There is, what do we got way down there? We have uh, a bunch of vendors selling stuff. There's food everywhere, so. Oh, and then there's the apple cannon and the pumpkin cannon and a pumpkin slingshot somewhere out there. And then obviously a pumpkin patch, so. Anyways, there's lots and lots of stuff to do because it's raining, because it's the day before thanks or before uh, Halloween and we've already done our pumpkins. We're not gonna go out to the pumpkin patch, but obviously this is probably one of the better pumpkin patches anywhere. Uh, definitely worth putting on your list. So here comes butternuts. My brake started working, stopped working in the middle, so I had to push in, then make the brakes go, and then they stopped again. So like yeah. right on the verge. So in other so words, Kyle guy. broke a car. So. Yep. All right, so that was Bauman Farms. What'd you think, Kyle? It was really fun, and the slides were really fast, and at the end of the day, I got an elephant ear. So, elephant ear, bonus. 
Um, so Bauman Farms is definitely one of the better pumpkin patches. Um, unfortunately, it's raining today, but that's Oregon. So what are you going to do? Um, anyways, most of the stuff is under wrap of some sort. It's dry usually. Uh, the pumpkin patch obviously won't be dry. Uh, the hayride is covered, but once you get out there, it won't be dry. But for the most part, everything's dry. So we did everything wet at the end. And I think it was pretty successful until the girls started getting wet and then they started getting crabby. But um, anyway, so cost is five bucks for general admission. Uh, it's 17 bucks for a wristband that gives you unlimited access to every activity or there's each activity has a number of tickets. So you could buy tickets. But uh, so for a family of five, it was $61 for us to get in for the two adults just to get in and the kids to do all the activities. So um, definitely put this on your list for next fall. Uh, Bauman's is definitely worth the drive out to Wilsonville to check it out, or to Woodburn, not Wilson. Are we in Woodburn or Wilsonville? Jervis. Jervis is where we're at. So anyways, worth the drive. Uh, thanks for watching. See you again.